All right, so today we'd like to check out our new Bluetooth uh, BLE scanning uh, feature in Tracer Plus. So Tracer Plus 10 now supports uh, scanning of BLE beacons. So these are just uh, uh, BLE beacons that ping out an identifier. This happens to be a Confidex Viking beacon. Uh, so what we're going to do today is actually put this out in the parking lot outside. Uh, Brad's going to go ahead and hide it for us, and then I'm going to take the uh, device here, this Android device running Tracer Plus 10, and go ahead uh, and start scanning for this beacon. I'm going to try to find it. Now the feature offers the ability to scan for the beacons, but also tell you the distance you are from them. So we want to check that out and see how quickly you can find this out in the uh, parking lot. Okay, I'm going to go hide it really well high. Okay. okay, we're out in the PTS parking lots, and uh, we're going to hide this beacon. Um, the BLE typically has a 300 foot range in perfect environments, but I mean, we're in the middle of a, a parking lot with a lot of cars, a lot of interference, and we're basically gonna put a needle in the haystack for him to find. And I'm gonna go pretty far out there. It might take him a little bit, but again, uh, usually you're gonna be using this, you're gonna have a GPS coordinate maybe associated with it. If you're getting within 100 feet of it, 200 feet of it, you're gonna see it right away. Um, you'll be able to identify it as you get closer. Uh, people are using these commonly in like a parking lots, making sure something's there. You can triangulate it with gateways, but we have a lot of folks that just want to read the information on the beacon as they get close to it and uh, use it as Geiger like we do with uh, Tracer Plus. Anyway, so I'm going to hide it. Let's put it over here. I'm just going to put it down next to this car. Okay, so Brad just went out and hid that beacon for us. I have my Tracer Plus uh, form all set up and ready to go. I'm just gonna walk out to the parking lot, hit the scan button there. It's gonna start looking for that beacon and we'll see if we can track it down. Okay, so here we go. I'm gonna take a look for this beacon uh, somewhere in this parking lot. We're gonna try to narrow it down. Now, a couple of things to know with the beacon scanning on a single device like this, because it is one device, we won't know the direction we are to the beacon. We're only gonna know the distance. So we're gonna have to do a couple of tricks to try to narrow it down. I'm gonna maybe put it up against my body to shield anything behind me. This will show me that, uh, give me some direction towards where the beacon is, because the signal will get weaker if it's behind me. Um, if we had a gateway infrastructure set up, you could get do some triangulation and stuff like that. But if you just have this single Android device, we hopefully should be able to track that beacon down. So I'm gonna go ahead and start my application up here. I'm simply going to hit the scan button and we're gonna wait for a beacon to pop up, that one that we're looking for out in the parking lot here. So I'm just gonna kind of walk around. When it finds it, it'll add it to the, uh, to the grid control here. Up, oh, it just found it. So if you come in a little bit closer, you can see there's an updating distance value here. I'm 161 meters, 116. It's flipping around because I'm far away from it at this point, uh, but it's giving us a uh, it's showing us that it's reading that beacon. It's giving us a uh, um, distance in meters to it. So now I'm going to go ahead and try to find this within the parking lot. So what I'm going to do is kind of move out towards where I got that read. I'll try to put it up against my body to kind of direct where I'm seeing this beacon. So I'm not getting a read over that way. I don't see it just yet. Uh, if I move and turn around here, I see I got a read in this general direction. So now I'm gonna go out and th out this way. I'm gonna assume it's this way because I'm not getting a read if I kind of turn the other direction. So now you can see it's 107 meters, 188. It's flipping around 83 meters. So again, you gotta remember that the BLE beacons, the distance gets more accurate the closer you get to the beacon. But I'm getting a general direction here, hopefully of where this beacon is. So 99. I can get some direction by putting it up like this. Generally lower here. 
now it's getting higher up this way. I have a feeling it's over this way someplace. Seven, eight. So I'm very close to it. So I'm at 8.7. Actually, I see it now. So I found it here now, two meters. So I'm right next to it at this point. So you can see I was able to track it down by just kind of directing or hopefully directing where that strongest signal is coming from and then just following the screen here to, to find that device. Now again, this is a single Android device, so there's no infrastructure involved here. I'm just putting, I just have this beacon attached to this car and I found this car using Tracer Plus. If you had something like different gateways, you could use Clearstream to actually do a triangulation. You could actually see it on a map where it's located. But this just gives you the ability to track down a device with a single uh, Android or iOS. And to throw in something, Howie, with Tracer Plus, you could also put a GPS coordinate to get closer at some point, too, so to tell you about where you are. Right, and Tracer Plus does support GPS coordinates, so we could capture GPS coordinates at this point, marry them up to where we're looking for the beacon uh, to get closer that way. But you can see relatively quickly, I found in this parking lot, sitting on the ground it's next kind of tiny when you put it in perspective of the parking lot <laughs> so good thing uh brad hit it there for us it didn't get crushed by the tire but uh we did find it so uh thanks for checking out our video today and uh hopefully we'll do some more cool stuff with this in the future